Now that we know how to upload the model to Configurator 360, let's talk about how the form gets propagated with parameters. With the model loaded in Inventor, we can take a closer look at the dimensions that are used to drive our design. Notice that the depth of the storage unit is driven by a parameter named depth. Let's do the same thing for length. When editing dimensions, you will find an option to link it to a list to choose from. This list is created from the parameters dialog. Simply add a user parameter and give it a name. We'll use a default value of 48 inches. Then, we can link an existing model dimension to that variable and watch how the model updates accordingly. Let's take it a step further and make the length a multi-value option. Create a list of values to choose from and the user parameter automatically changes to a pull-down instead of an edit box. Back in the Configurator 360 online interface, you will see the three user parameters are shown in the form with the model that is uploaded. In the next one-minute video, we'll include the use of iLogic to establish rules for user parameters.